Okay folks, welcome back to On The Bench. Today I'm going to be tying you the Once and Away Fly, designed by my friend Hans von Klinken. It's an emerger. This one I'm tying to represent the pale evening done here on the Columbia River. I used this fly last year. The only difference was I used peacock curl in the thorax. I'm using a different material today in the thorax just to see and test it out. And yeah, it's been a really great pattern for me. Make sure you have these materials handy before you tie the fly. So for a hook, I'm using a partridge of red itch. It's a clean camera hook, size 14. The thread, I'm using 18 knot nano silk in yellow. For the body, I'm using uh, Semperfly True Picari Quills. They're synthetic. And they're one millimeter. They come in different sizes. For the thorax, I'm using the new Pearl Chenille in Root Beer by Semperfly. If you don't have this, because it is brand new, the original fly is actually done with peacock curl in the thorax, and you could just totally use that, it's fine. And then for the wing, I'm using CDC in a honey color. It's like a yellowish color. So to begin, I've got my yellow nano silk, and I'm just going to run my thread through some wax. Just apply a little bit of wax to it. It makes it easier to start on the hook that way. And I've got the hook um, pointed downwards because it's easier to get at the back of the fly this way. Just build a nice even body here. Take it all the way back down to the uh, bend. See, I was fishing this fly last year. I was fishing caddis for a few days, and then they, they shut right off the caddis one night, and I was fishing in the evening, and I couldn't figure out what they were taking. I saw them splashing around, the trout splashing around the shallows, um, not really acting like they were on caddis. And then I just happened to notice a little like yellowish mayfly go by me. I took a quick picture of it and I sent it off to my friend Donnie Erasmus that wrote Hatches. And we determined it was a pale evening done. So the main difference between the pale evening done and the pale morning done is that the ad with the adults, the evening done has two tails and the uh, morning done has three tails. So I'm just, I just went once over my, my hook with some thread again there. Now I'm going to take my uh, peccary. So this comes in two. I've done in both. Um, this is the, the transparent one. And then this one is just the true peccary quills synthetic. And I'm going to use this one with the white on it. Since this is the one that I was using last year. And I'm just going to peel it from the card. So I'm going to take and I've got the a peccary quill here. There's the end of it. And I'm just going to face, so I'm facing the sticky side out. I'm just going to wrap that in there. Bring it back. And now back up. Now you just take your peccary. Before I do this, even though it is sticky, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of brushable crazy glue, just just a tad, just to help it stick better. Even though I am going to be coating it in resin, you want it to be as durable as possible. These are big trout in the Columbia. If they get a hold of your fly, they can just tear it right apart sometimes. So you just start wrapping it in, uh, just slightly overlapping the the peccary. turns these wonderful colors. Fish seem to like this uh, body for sure. I think uh, Hans uh, also uses it for a lot of his once in a way flies. I was reading the story this morning of uh, the, the origin of the once in a way. Uh, Hans was fishing, I can't remember where, and um, he wasn't getting uh, as many as he would like on his clink hammer, which is also a wicked fly, um, 
that particular day or something and he was looking at the naturals and he couldn't even he said he couldn't even really figure out what they were at the time and so he just sort of he didn't even have a bobbin or anything he just whipped up a fly by hand he found a dead duck some dead some duck feathers or something <laughs> whipped it off and took it out and it, and it worked great he said so that's where this pattern came from yeah, and last year it was funny because I tied a couple up and I, I had one in with a white wing, one with a gray wing, and one with a yellow wing. So I threw the one with the yellow wing out there and wow, it just got hammered. So I just got the raised up super thin. I gave that a little light coat of that. I was going to cure it. And it worked, um, you know, sporadically whenever they, last summer, whenever they weren't on caddis in the evening, they were usually taking this fly. It was very effective. And it was funny when I tied it, I didn't really think it was going to represent anything. I sort of just tied it for fun just to tie the fly, but it actually worked. So now I'm just going to take my hook and put it up the right way here. Just go back over it a little ways with my thread. You want to keep that eye fairly clear, so at least at least um, an eye length back. Try to keep your thread back. Now I've got four CDC feathers, and I've just stacked them together. And I'm just going to lay them. I make sure that's cured before I lay my feather on the hook. It probably is, but let's make sure. And I'm just going to take and uh, wax my thread. like to do both sides and just run it over the body a couple of times. Now it doesn't matter how far back you measure, I'm going to be trimming it anyways. You want, we want it to be fairly uh, far back though because Hans likes the stiffer part of the stem uh, to help the fly float. So just bring your thread up nice and close and do a couple of wraps. Make sure it's just sitting right on top there. Tighten down. I'm going to do a wrap and a couple wraps in front just to lock it in place. And now you can trim your uh, excess uh, CDC. Let's look here. Like so. Make sure it's still just sitting right on top. Sometimes it can slip off to the side. Now the original um, fly was done with peacock curl in the thorax. Uh, Hans says it's got a very nice big thick thorax on it. But I'm going to use the pearl chenille. It's new and I have seen uh, Hans use, um, I think, straggle on one of the videos. Straggle string. So this should work good. Of course I'm also going to tie a couple with peacock curl just in case. but. <laughs> since I haven't used this material, but it looks like it should work. And it's, it's a great color, this brown root beer color. And I'm just going to peel a little bit off the end, just to give me a little tie-in point, and wax my thread. Bring your thread up nice and close to the hook. And then just lock that down, making sure you still stay um, far back from that eye. And now I'm just going to start winding this, pulling it tight too. I would think about just maybe four, three and a half, four wraps for this size hook. Tie that off. A couple in front here. And then snip that off nice and close. Get in there. Now just take your wing and bring it over top. I'm just going to use my thumb to flatten it slightly. And now I'm just going to do a couple of turns. Don't tighten it too much yet. That's good. Now what you want to do is just lift it up here and come right in front and build this up a little bit so it doesn't obstruct the eye it all back. There might be a couple little um, stragglers in there, but that's okay. Now 
Now you can whip finish, take your whip finisher, and then just pull this wing out of the way. And the nano silk's nice and strong. Should only take one or two whip finishes. What I also like to do because I don't uh, wax, I don't. Um, sorry, I don't use resin on the heads of my dry flies. I just use a little bit of wax on the nano silk. It actually helps it uh, hold it even stronger. It's pretty strong already. You should only need one whip finish with this stuff, but just to be safe, I'm going to give it another one. Just a couple of turns, like so. And now I'm going to snip away my thread. And now you can just take this wing and I like to measure it back so about halfway down the body, halfway to two thirds down the body. Let's give that a little trim. And then you can take it and just gonna clean it up like so. Catch a couple of stragglers off there. And that's it, my once in a way pale evening done. Thanks for joining me on this edition of On the Bench. Take care, everyone. Conserve the waters and tight lines.